I'm so glad Mikey and I finally decided to take a boat ride out to sea. Look how beautiful the sea is. I love it. Speaking of Mikey, he's asleep right now. We should wake him up. We didn't go sailing to sleep here. I can't sleep here at all. I get seasick on the boat. Good morning, Mikey. Wake up. It's no time to sleep. We've got work to do. Ugh, JJ, why'd you wake me up? What other work is waiting for us? We're here to rest, not to work. Well, we're on a ship, and you have to keep an eye on it. Okay, okay. Let's get the pickaxes then. We may have to change the coal in the ship's furnace. Oh, I wouldn't want to mess with coal right now. Then I'll be all dirty again. Well, we're on a ship, so you can wash up in the sea anytime you want. Well, I don't want to swim in the middle of the sea at that depth. Besides, it's cold water and there are sharks everywhere. Yeah, sharks often swim past our ship. Exactly. We should ask our ship's captain what he needs help with today. Let's go to him quickly. Hello, Captain. Good morning, guys. Is our ship all right? Is there anything we need to fix or help with? Our ship is in perfect order, but you should check the stoves. If we run out of coal, the ship won't be able to sail any further. No problem, Captain. Yeah, we'll do it. Let's go, JJ. We've got to get this done fast. I can't wait to get on the boat to our vacation hotel. Well, I can see smoke coming, so I think there's still plenty of coal in the stove. Let's see what we got here. Hmm, everything seems to be in order here. The stoves are working well. There's still plenty of coal in them. Then I'll see how far we are from shore. Oops, Mikey, we got a problem here. What? What are you talking about, JJ? What's the problem? Our ship is sailing right into a huge iceberg. What? That's just awful. We've got to turn the ship around faster. Otherwise, this huge iceberg will just destroy our ship. Oh no, Mikey, we're too late. Oh my god, hold on, JJ. Ouch, my head hurts so bad. Oh my god, there's sharks. Oh no, this is bad. Very, very bad. Hey, Mikey, get up. Mikey, are you alive? Can you hear me? Mikey, we have to save ourselves. We're in great danger. Uh-oh, what happened to our ship? Our ship has been completely destroyed. We hit a huge iceberg. Oh no, that's just awful. We can't stay here. At this rate, we're gonna get eaten by sharks. Yeah, that's right, Mikey. Hey, JJ, look, there's an island. Yes, I see him. We've gotta get in there somehow. The sharks can't get us there. Yeah, let's go to the island, JJ. Wait, Mikey. Ouch, it hurts. There's sharks in there. I didn't realize they swam that fast. Ouch. Get away from me, you evil sharks. Mikey, you're out of your mind. It's obvious that sharks are much faster than humans in the water. Then what do we do? How do we get to the island? I think we should make some kind of raft or boat. There's some wreckage from the ship right here. It's the only way for us to get to the island. That's a great idea, JJ. Get ready. Now we're going to sail to the island. Those sharks can't get us on the boat. Whoa, you did good, Mikey. You built the boat so fast. I tried. This raft is solid, so even if sharks attack our boat, they can't bite it. <laughs> Uh-oh, they're coming for us. We need to speed up, Mikey, no matter how strong the raft is. I don't want to take any chances. Woo, we made it. Whoa, Mikey, look where we are. This island looks so beautiful, and something tells me someone's been here before us. Yeah, it's some kind of abandoned house. I wonder who used to live here. Oh my god, there's a skeleton. Now I know who lived here in this house, and now we know that's how he got off the island. If we're going to live here now, I think we should remove the skeleton from the house. It's a little uncomfortable around here. Yeah, you're right, JJ. But the most important thing is that we don't get the same treatment. Don't worry, Mikey. It's not the first time we've had to survive in harsh conditions, so we'll definitely survive and come home. Then we should start by getting some wood. <laughs> After all, this is the very first stage of any survival in Minecraft. Yeah, thanks, Mikey. Since we already have the picks, I think we can use the wood to fix our house. It's in a bit of a state of disrepair. That's for sure. If it starts raining, we're in trouble. One more thing, JJ. Make sticks out of wood. I think we'll need them. Well, if we have any wood left, I will definitely make sticks. Eh, I hope there's enough wood. Otherwise, without wood, we won't live here for long. Don't worry, Mikey. I'm sure some seedlings fell out of last year's tree, so we can easily grow a new tree. Oops, we're out of wood. Eh, then let's go to the cave. A cave? What are you talking about? Look, JJ, we've been here before. Didn't you notice this cave? No, I didn't notice the cave. But I'm interested in these sheep. We could make beds out of their wool. That's great. Then let's go to the cave, find some iron and make scissors, and then we can easily get wool, and we can sleep in a warm bed. Except you can't get into that cave that easily. It's blocked by cobblestones. 
we'll have to use our pickaxes to get in. Yeah, that's not a problem for us at all. After all, we had our pickaxes with us before the ship crashed, so we can easily handle an ordinary cobblestone. Yeah, these picks are a real lifesaver for us. Nice! JJ, we were able to get into the mine. Let's hurry up and see what we've got. Hmm, I don't see any particularly useful ores here, but there is coal. We could use it too. Yeah, you're right, JJ. Then let's get all the coal we can. We can use it to cook food. Maybe later we can find iron. We could use it to make armor. Except we don't have any food right now. But if we can make beds, it would be cool to grow food there. Whew, we did it. And we got all the coal. I think that's enough and now we can go home safely. That's for sure. We've got 22 coals. Whoa, hey Mikey, look. What's that? I think this one's some kind of trap door. I wonder what's down there? Let's go down and find out what's in there. Yeah, I hope it's not a trap. That's for sure. Oh no, JJ. I think it's a trap after all. Look how many monsters there are. Take it easy, Mikey. It's just a zombie. It's not a trap. It's just another cave where zombies live. And judging by their clothes and pickaxes, they used to be miners who worked here. But now they're zombies, so we have to defeat them. Otherwise, we'll become green zombies like them. Eh, hey, I don't like it. I'm already green, but I don't want to turn into a zombie. Ha ha ha, yeah, you're kind of like them, Mikey. What? No way! I don't look like a zombie, and I don't want to be like them. If you don't want to become like these zombies, then help me fight them, or I'll turn into a zombie and bite you. Ha ha! Uh-oh! I don't want that! If you turn into a zombie, I don't know how I'm going to survive here on this island. Super! Mikey, there's only a little bit left. There's only two zombies left. Well done, JJ. In the meantime, I'm going to start mining iron. Look how much iron ore there is. It's true. There's a lot of ore here. We can make two sets of iron armor. Maybe even enough for tools. Oh yeah, that would be awesome. If we have iron armor, then the sharks in the sea won't be dangerous to us. And then we could swim to our town in peace. What? Mikey, are you crazy? If we swim to our town, we'll just get tired and drown. Then we'll have to make a boat out of iron, and then we can swim to our town in an iron boat, and the sharks won't be able to bite the iron boat. Well, you're right about that, JJ. Then let's do it like this. The main thing is that we have enough iron for everything we need for armor and tools and the boat itself. Oh my god, Mikey, there's diamonds in there. What? Where did you see them? Here, right behind you. Oh my god. Cool, get them, JJ. We're gonna need them. Yeah, I think they could be used to make diamond swords. So, JJ, how many diamonds did you collect? I found eight diamonds in this diamond deposit. That's enough for swords. We even have enough for a pickaxe. Let's go to our house. Woo! It's night outside. It's also very cold. Yeah, I'm a little cold too. We should make beds. Then let's hurry home and make scissors. And so, Mikey, first we need to melt the iron. But first I'm gonna fix the holes in our house. And it's such a cold wind outside. We sure can't sleep in this cold. And if we get sick, then you'll be in a world of hurt. That's great! Now put the iron in the furnace. The furnace will make the house a lot warmer. All right. In the meantime, I'll do all the things we need to do for us. Oh yeah, now we're ready for anything. That's for sure. With our iron armor and diamond swords, we're safe. Grab a pair of scissors and let's go sheep shearing. I can't wait to go to bed. I'm so tired today. Totally agree with you, Mikey. I'm pretty tired too. We spent so long mining in the cave and fighting monsters. I'm almost out of energy. We clearly deserve a rest. JJ, hurry up and get up. Uh, Mikey, what happened? Uh, why wake me up so early? You'll be shocked when you find out what I found. Am I gonna be shocked? What's wrong? What do you want to show me? Look, can you see them? Oh my god, Mikey, are there mermaids on that island? Yes, we've got to go and deal with them. Wait, Mikey, these mermaids aren't like in the cartoons. These mermaids are very dangerous. They can eat us. Trust me, JJ, I'm aware of that. That's why they almost ate me tonight. That's why I think we should defeat these monsters. They may look like pretty girls, but they're too dangerous. All right, Mikey, let's do this. But how did they almost eat you last night? Because they know how to hypnotize people with their singing. Oh no, Mikey is bad. They've already started singing. So we should defeat them as soon as possible. Woo, that was hard. Judging by these skeletons, mermaids have managed to eat a lot of people. What's in the trunk? Oh, yeah, Mikey. We're in luck. There was a flare gun in here. Now we can call for help, and we won't have to make an iron boat. Cool. JJ, give me that gun. I want to shoot it myself and call for help. No problem, Mikey. Just please be careful. This is our chance at freedom. Don't worry, JJ. I can handle it. 
I've already tried firing a gun. There's nothing complicated about it. Ouch, Mikey, you shot me. I'm sorry, JJ, I don't know how that happened. Hey, look, looks like someone saw our signal shot. Hooray, finally. What, Captain, what are you doing here? We thought we'd never see you again. After the shipwreck threw me far away, but I managed to get home, and when I remembered you, I went looking for you. And when I saw the signal light, I knew it was you. Super! Then let's go home quickly. Oh yeah! We're finally home! Captain, thank you very much. You're our savior. I'm glad you weren't hurt, but we all need to be more careful from now on. So I'm gonna go fix my ship. Yeah, I think the ship took a lot of damage from that iceberg. That's the way it is. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye, Captain! Bye! Yeah, I'm so very glad we're in our town. I don't want to go on vacation at sea anymore. I'd rather vacation at home. <laughs> That's right, Mikey.